Why do we face difficulty with the boolean modifier? Because we don't know what is manifold mesh and non-manifold mesh. Only manifold meshes gives the proper results while using a boolean modifier. With non-manifold meshes, you will get artifacts while using a boolean modifier. Now one question arises: What are manifold meshes? If a mesh has clearly defined inside and outside, then it's a manifold mesh. Now this cube has a clearly defined inside and outside, hence it's a manifold mesh. UV sphere, cylinder, torus, etc. are manifold meshes. Second point: A manifold mesh is a watertight and does not contains holes or missing faces. Now this icosphere is a manifold mesh, but if I delete even it's a single face, then it will have a hole. And now it is non-manifold mesh because it is not a watertight and it contains holes or missing faces. Third point: In manifold mesh, every edge must have exactly two adjacent faces. Here in this cube, you can see. Every edge has two adjacent faces. You can take any other manifold object and you can find two adjacent faces to every edge. Now, what are non-manifold meshes? A non-manifold mesh is a mesh that cannot exist in real life because all real life objects have a volume that can be considered the inside of that object. A plane is an example of non-manifold mesh. because every edge is connected to only one adjacent face a plane has no volume and cannot exist in real life and you should know that even the thinnest piece of paper has a thickness with these parameters you can identify manifold meshes and non manifold meshes now let's see how does this thing affect in boolean operation here i have two objects this sphere is a manifold mesh and this cube is non manifold mesh because it has a hole or missing face here you can see i'm going to select both the objects then go to the edit bool tool and use the difference boolean operation if i try to do boolean operation here then i will face difficulty i will get this kind of artifacts there is a second scenario now this time i will do the same boolean operation but in this case the sphere is a manifold mesh as well as the cube is also manifold mesh i'm going to select both the objects then use the boolean operation difference and here you can see i'm getting the right results you can try this with other manifold and non manifold objects so you can get more clarity in simple words you should use manifold meshes to perform boolean operations it's very simple if you want to learn how to prepare the model for texturing in substance painter then you can watch this video and if you want to learn how to optimize the model for game then you can watch this video And if you want to learn more about 3D then you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Bye bye. So next video, take care.